The way we're going to deal with this is by pasting together the segments, uh, leaving out the jth position. In particular, we're going to say that in order for the output to be a permutation of the input, in the case where uh, we don't have a match in the first position, okay, it had better be the case that um, the following two things are permutations of each other. First thing in our, in our check is the tail of x. That is, we're going to leave off that first element. And then we want to uh, compare that permutation-wise with the results of pasting together the first segment of y with the last segment of y. So we've left out the first element in x, and now we're going to leave out that same element in y by pasting together the first, which remember, which j minus 1 elements, okay? And then from j plus 1 to n, we're going to paste those together, leaving out the jth position, and we're going to ask the question, is the tail of x a permutation of that? Now, we know from uh, our equality check that in that jth position, we matched the first one of x. We've left that out. We've left out the one in the jth position, and we're now asking recursively the question about whether the remainder of x matches, is a permutation of those two segments pasted together.